For advanced cancers, doctors often have few options for treating their patients. At Cancer Treatment Centers of America, there's a new treatment that is tough on cancer. Let's get more now from Dr. Ron Flynn, a surgical oncologist from Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Good doctor, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for Thank having you so me. much for being here. Now, I wrote this down. I'm going to try to get it right now. If you could, hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. Is that correct? Hypic. What is it? What does the name derive from? What can it do? Very good. Um, I'll start off by defining some terms because I, I promised myself that I don't want to get too technical in the terms because mm -hmm. I want people to actually understand. Yeah, what keep this, it layman's terms. That's fine. Layman's yeah, terms. Sure. So, HIPEG is actually an acronym. It stands for basically heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, mm -hmm. and what that is is let me define a few more terms. The peritoneum. What it is, it's the abdominal cavity and I always give my patients an example of a trash can so a trash can is basically a hollow viscous a mm -hmm. hollow structure mm -hmm. and within that trash can is a trash bag that lines the trash can and then within that is the trash so mm -hmm. when you make that analogy with the abdominal cavity the abdominal cavity itself is like the trash can uh, the trash bag is what we call the peritoneal lining. Gotcha. So that's that term. And then the trash is the organs. So the Indeed. liver, intestines, spleen, pancreas, etc. How do people know they are a candidate for this treatment? Right, okay. So the basis for this treatment is this is a treatment strategy that is used as an adjunct to systemic chemotherapy, which they will get back at some point. Systemic meaning through the veins. So this treats. Uh, a myriad of different types of cancers where what happens is that the cancer actually ruptures through it the organ. So for example, you have a cancer of the colon or the large intestine. The cancer then ruptures through the wall of the colon mm. and it spreads throughout the surface or lining of that peritoneal cavity. Um, and it's kind of akin to for example, sprinkling grass seed mm -hmm. on your lawn mm -hmm. or sifting wheat or something like Interesting. that. Interesting. And so it lands in these small micro particles which then at some point take root and then start to grow. So this particular treatment was traditionally these patients with what we call this entity is called carcinomatosis. Okay. That's where it kind of spreads all throughout. And historically what would happen is that these doctors, doctors would take these patients to the operating room, open their abdomens, and then find that they have these cancers that are spread all throughout, wow. and then they would just close them back up and they would go on to traditional chemotherapy. So what this methodology allows us to do is it's really in two parts. The first part is to open the patient up, uh, completely and to inspect the entire abdomen, all the surfaces of the abdomen. And then we actually, in a very time consuming manner, we remove all of the visible implants of tumor. And once we have done all of that, then we apply heated chemotherapy, which is the high pec part. There are other terms, belly bath, shake and bake, sure, a lot of fancy terms. This sounds very intense, just about out of time. How much success? Have you had with it? Uh, this is this is very successful, and this is again used adjunctively with IV chemotherapy to help to extend patients' lives su substantially longer than they could ever be done with traditional chemotherapy alone. That's a beautiful thing. Thanks for keeping it real and breaking it down that way. Yes, Thanks sir. so much. We appreciate it. For more on Cancer Treatment Centers of America and the high-pec treatment, just go to cbsphilly.com and click on Talk Philly. We'll be right back.